I thought it was high time we left the city. Went and stretched our legs a little bit. Went and explored some. So, uh, you know, before we leave, let me go grab this one quest over here because I think this is something we can do kind of along the way, if I remember right. Have you seen? Please, can you help me, my brother? Don't worry. Helping people and killing people are what I'm best at. Uh. Uh, <laughs> I hope there will be no call to kill anyone, Sarah. Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They laud at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce, and utterly without pity, that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. All right, well, that's one more stop we can make, actually. On our way out of the city, we can uh, go by the gallows and see what's happening there. Commander Meredith, um, you don't get a reputation like that um, without there being some kernel of truth there. You know what I mean? You're not just a complete bad guy to everybody if you're doing things right. Named Karen. His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. Oh, good. We'll just be leaving then. To go somewhere that isn't the gallows. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders. The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmer and Karen were the most recent. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. No. No Templars in this family. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. You're already defying orders to talk to me. Might as well share the good stuff. <laughs> I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Her own people? That's horrible. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do... what must be done. And trust they alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. 
Wilmard told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Night Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmard. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Cool, may get to catch up to Colin here. Now, if she's ruling with an iron fist... Okay, if, if she's dealing fairly with people, she's not going to get just this common reputation amongst everybody. Her own Templars, the community at large. I can see some discontent mages, you know. Someone who didn't get sirloin for dinner and now all of a sudden Meredith is a devil type thing. You'll have naysayers. But um, if you're dealing fairly, you know, not everyone's going to have problems with what you're doing or how you're doing it. You're not going to have all these whispers and stuff. So... Um, whether she's doing all or none of what's being said here, I, I think the truth will probably lie somewhere in between. But I think it's going to lean more towards her uh, doing some dirty dealings behind closed doors. I mean, we see the Templar's fingers in, in a lot of the crime and stuff, you know, vaguely kind of behind the scenes, so to speak. But uh, if that's the case, they're way out of line. Um, and we will see this in spades in Inquisition, is that the Templar Order isn't what it was uh, meant to be, essentially. It had morphed into something else. They'd completely lost their way through whether de demonic influence or just over time and corrupt individuals creeping in and eventually diverting their, their course to something totally unrecognizable from how it started, you know. Um, the Chantry's the same. Um, the Circles are the same. Circles are not blameless here. Um, you know, when people see you run around killing everybody, they might think, hey, um... I don't want you running around killing everybody. You know, and people may have a problem with that, and they have that right to have a problem with that. There's something seriously wrong with running around, you know, killing everybody. But uh, anyway, so, I mean, you get it, but then, you know, you take it overboard, and then on top of that, if the Templar Order really isn't functioning as the Templars anymore, they're more a criminal, political, power-mad organization thing with Meredith... Um, apparently somewhat off of her rocker, having diverted everyone from their, their true purpose to now being, uh, you know, just an order of mage hunters or whatever, and then just taking that to the extreme or, or something. Anyway, I mean, it'll all become clear, but um, if she's whittling the order down to only those who are faithful and willing to do, um, essentially not, not, not even question morals anymore, then she's a whole lot more like Mirren was. Mirren was like, you're not supposed to question whether it's right or not, you're supposed to do the job. And, uh, seems like it, it sounds a lot more like that than it does, um, a bunch of people trying to keep the mages in line, you know? Yeah, it's it not gonna end well. Out of your element, dwarf. No thanks to this lot, can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though... You're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. You can start making sense any time now. My manners. Javaris Tintop, merchant and investor. I need forward thinkers to help court the Canari. Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes. And it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. Fools with swords are bad enough, but this? I doubt they were eager to sell. That Arishok said I wasn't worthy. That only their outcast, the Talvashoth, or that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go over well. But, made me think. Maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? Your people must have something like that already. Small things shaped to crack faults, not shatter the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. A problem after problem. I suppose there could be a reward for these Talvashoth. As long as you do it, I'm happy. Now. Best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. What could go wrong? Right? I mean, what bad could happen? Yep. 
Yeah, this isn't gonna end well either. <laughs> but I, I think what triggers this is is uh, stopping at the gallows. I think that's what actually unlocks this. Or maybe it's the thing with uh, with Wilman and Colin. Maybe it's maybe it's that. I don't know. Anyway, it's it's like an ambush, kind of kind of reminiscent of Origins. Okay, so we got uh, Wilman's campsite unlocked, and we can we can visit that. Say we can do maybe several things while we're out here. Not that there are many good places for that. This is a place we're going to return to um, several times. I don't remember if you come back here in Act 1. Don't remember, but uh, I think there's even like a hidden quest here. You come here and you deal with some stuff, and then uh, you go back to town, and I think you can come back here, and another quest pops up basically when you arrive. I, I, I believe there's, there's a time when you can come here and you're not sent here to do anything specific. You have to kind of come back on your own. But uh, crafting materials are involved, and of course trophies are involved in that. I know there's a trophy for getting like all of the crafting materials, because you essentially need all of them to make um, the highest tier items. You essentially need uh, one of everything. Well, a certain number of everything, like, you know, there'll be, I don't know, like three of this and five of that that you can find throughout the game. Embryum and Lyrium and oh what um, Death Root, Elf Root, you know all that kind of stuff. Actually, um, one of the harder fights in the game is unlocked here. I don't say by any means the hardest, but it can be a little nasty. That sounds good. I don't know what's screaming like that, but I probably don't want to meet it. In fact, I think that pathway right there opens up for us later, also. Alright, so that's where we need to go. So let's check all down here. I think there's uh, at least one one crafting item. Elf root or something, and then uh, probably another codex or two after this one. Some boxes to loot, you know, stuff like that. And uh, also later in the game, a lot of these caves are going to be open that are blocked off by wagons and stuff. They'll be unlocked and they'll lead to particular things. All kinds of just side quest stuff. We might wind up coming back here five or six times, actually. And this, this once again, you know, to be fair, I mean, uh, people talked about the you know, copying, pasting of the map instead of having a, a different area. They, you know, use the same area for, for multiple things. I get that, but um, that's a small thing to overlook for, you know, I mean, the fun of it. You know, I mean, you know, they're, they're quests. There's something to go do. Caves to explore and stuff to find. All right, so every cave looks the same. All right, and? I mean, okay. Once you get past that, there's, uh, combat's great. Story's great. Lore to be uncovered and stuff by doing things. I mean, you know, I don't know. I just don't really see it being much much of a downside, honestly. There's the entrance to the mines. Perhaps we'll find the missing workers within. All right, and here's our first sign of bad news. These little fellows. Biggest problem right here is I don't have two frost staffs, which um, if we could do ice, this would be over very quickly. But um, let's see. I think both my mages have fire staffs, as a matter of fact, which these uh, dragons are essentially immune to. So I'll be doing uh, most of the work. 
And this is where it'd be nice to have some followers help. Ouch, that hurt. I didn't need to take that to the face. Bethany is real close to dying right there. I want to make sure I don't miss any of the stuff here. One thing I don't mind about relatively simple maps is you don't get lost and make sure you explore everything. Like I say, if we could do some ice damage, have ice on all of our weapons, that would be awesome. It's one thing dragons are weak to. They're essentially, of course, immune to fire. And uh, they're highly resistant to something else. I think spirit damage, which is uh, really a double downside because um, I'm dealing spirit damage. I think that's, that's a resistance to theirs. I may be wrong. Pretty sure. Either way, you're going to hear a lot of my characters saying, uh, this is useless. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Lots of ones popping up off the enemy where there should be, you know, 20s and 50s and 100s and stuff. I was about to say, let's, let's, we went a while without an enemy. Time for round two with the dragons, I guess. Ouch. not getting a lot of criticals on this dragon. You should see his health bar flash white a lot, especially considering I'm basically behind him. I'll well, finish him off with one, but uh, still. I wonder if it's because of a uh, much higher defense or... Um... You know what? It seems like at a certain level, maybe, you know, with dragons and stuff, um, they might be immune to criticals, although I think you can bypass it with that with... Uh... Oh, maybe it's an upgrade for Mark of Death? Or it might be uh, Varric's brand. Or Meryl can throw a curse um, on the... I think it's called the Entropy Tree. I don't know, where you can throw horror and sleep and all that stuff. Maybe it's her. One of them has something you you can make a uh, enemy susceptible to criticals that normally isn't. So that may, be, that may be in play right here, actually. Which, of course, we don't have the skill unlocked yet. We will. Anytime I can get one of my followers or myself to debuff the enemy, that's always, always really helpful. No shortage of these guys here. Oh, dragons moved right on in, didn't they? Workers haven't been gone that long, I don't think. I'm 
girl came and brought all of her kids with her. And we'll send them out first to die for her, I guess. That's an item we can uh, turn in back at town. See, uh, the, the more quests you do, the more th the more things you come across to turn in somewhere else. Like, you know, there's a lot of these little pickup items that are good for XP and, and money, you know. So if we still have some dragon leans up there. This is crazy. All right, there's a crafting material that we wouldn't get otherwise if we didn't come do this. Here. Basically how they set out all the crafting stuff is you essentially have to do everything. I mean, pretty much just all the side quests and all the stuff. Some of it's really quick, but uh, other other quests are kind of drawn out. This one's a little bit longer, having to deal with that whole area, then these caves. See what awaits us at the end of it. I actually give those finger rings to Meryl. I think they give you extra health. Price and trusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Hold on. What happened here? I'll tell you what I can. But be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Where did the dragons come from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed and dragons came through. It was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. Well, you better get going. Try not to get eaten. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Oh, are we going to go that way? I've never seen a huge dragon before. <laughs> She's not scared. <laughs> not scared at all. I really like Merle, actually. Alright, let's look over here first. Alright, all that free stuff, and, uh... Well, I'm having a hard enough time with the uh, dragon so far. Sounds like this is a bigger one. I think it's on in our lives right here. Yeah, that's that's a bigger dragon, which means bigger fire. All right, let's see if we can get the dog to draw a little bit of attention. It's easy to forget you got the dog there, and he's not scared. Old faithful hound there. Notice out on this little platform, sometimes your mages just don't have anywhere to go. Now, honestly, if we had ice right now, he would be below half health already. Yeah, it... Bethany's range, she just doesn't have anywhere to go. That is the one problem out here. You know what? Okay. I'll let my character just do her thing. And, uh, I'll go ahead and play as Bethany for a second. Just to get her out of the way. Just to keep her over here where she needs to be. See if everybody else can do their job. And my mages are doing no damage. No, nothing really. It's all on, uh... It's all on my character, essentially. This paralyzed didn't work, did it? Wow. Puts put up some major health numbers right there. Nice. Oh, wow. I just got crapped on. You can get up to, oh, I think it's like eight or nine gold off this guy, and it gave me nothing. Wow, that's a huge dent. Well, I'm not going to redo the fight. You can, I think you can actually redo the fight. You know, you got to start from like a previous load or something, and 
get him to redrop I'm, or her to redrop. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But that's that's pretty cheap. They just screwed me out of oh anywhere between five and ten gold, some somewhere in that range. I think it's normally like eight or nine, seven, seven gold and eighty silver or something. Or I'm sure it ran, it's random, but still. Why don't you arrest us, All right. Anyway. Fast travel back to the gallows, and let's at least go turn in this dragon tooth. I'm gonna turn these in one at a time to this guy. Make sure this doesn't glitch. That's good. Is it because you're fond of Hawk? I kind of am. How very nice for you. Keep it to yourself. I'd rather keep it with her. <laughs> nice. The dragon's fang. It's larger than I expected. Alright, so Meryl already likes me then, that's cool. Might as well turn in this pommel, and then we can go and um, deliver the news that the bone pit is safe again. I, I say safe very loosely. Big air quotes on that. Right on, Abilene. We know you're dedicated. I heard you lost something. This it. I didn't expect to see this again. Now, one or two of these DLC items is giving us like an extra 1% on XP, and I don't know if it's going to make up for the the few things that I'm not maximizing um for one you know i could have got i think a few more mobs in high town and at the docks and low town um i think there is that you're so lucky how do you figure you have to i wish i had a sister and a whole big family it must be wonderful you'd never be alone it is wonderful although it might be better without uncle gamlin Meryl's lonely, but uh, she's not, like, self-pitying kind of lonely. She's not poor me type thing. She's just, hmm, I wonder what it's like to be amongst all these people and stuff. I think she kind of wonders at it. I think she's she's got she's a little more bright-eyed and open-minded than I probably used to give her credit for. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpse this dude's an yourself. Ass. But I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I bet their first task will be cleaning up the entrails the last shift left behind. A dragon killer and a mind reader. Wonderful. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? If you want my help, you'll pay for my services in advance. You're both tough and shrewd. Very well. I had some money set aside for safety equipment, but it is yours instead. So, to our first order of business, we replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Well, this dude sold his morals and his decency and self-respect along with that seat cushion, I think. What an asshole. <laughs> Seriously. Plenty of desperate fraud. That's how you view everybody and everything, huh? The world really were coming to an end. Somebody like that would just be a just a, a wet piece of tissue paper laying on the street. Totally useless. It wasn't a big enough village to have a wall around it, let alone a place for elves. Where did the elves live then? 
stables and outbuildings yes, mostly. Into my hands. I think I like I One reason I'm collecting as much money as I can, uh, I want to go buy the elixirs, you know, for the extra points in the uh, in the Black Emporium. Make sure we do that before Act One finishes. Not really worried about the Deep Roads money. I need. Uh, it's really all about getting the skill books or the elixir. Well, they count as a skill book. Same thing. It's really all about getting those because they're ridiculously expensive considering the amount of money you actually make. It's uh, Then also, you know, there's a piece or two of equipment that we will buy somewhere on down the line. Hey. Hey. This one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow for Elden, no less. Oh, eyes on her face, you lush. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant to half of the South Reach. Yeah? More eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> well, you're a real hero. Now what brings you here? Shuffle off to the mine. And let me finish those pints for you. Go back to that blight taking hold? I need work, but I don't need to be some dragon's dinner. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse, like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. I own half the mine now. I'll keep it safe. Really? Oh, be nice to work for one of our own. If you don't give us a fair shake, who would? Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. Yeah, man. Times are hard in this Hooper guy. He's not making anything better. He's really not taking advantage of their desperation just like that hawker when we first got here one that was giving people pennies on the dollar for their stuff just so they could eat for the next day type of thing is piece of crap I convinced the miners to return to work. Excellent. I knew you would handle those layabouts. Layabouts, huh? Yeah. Wonder how many of their kinsmen died during that disaster. You don't care about that, do you? All right, you want to subscribe? Click that button up top. For more Dragon Age, click the image in the middle, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.